Welcome to Lucktronics. Today we're talking about undervolting the EVGA 3080 for the Win 3 Ultra. We're just going to dive into some benchmarks to compare stock versus undervolted. Right, now that we have our baseline, we're going to go ahead and undervolt utilizing MSI Afterburner. EVGA Precision X1 doesn't seem to work very well for this. So first we're going to drop the core quite a bit just below uh, where we're actually going to set it. I'm going to look at 850 millivolts, drag that on up to about 1800 megahertz, hit apply, and we're not going to go above that voltage or that speed. It's worth mentioning that this isn't a true benchmark run. This is just to compare stock versus undervolted. Uh, so you aren't going to be seeing any great scores here. We just want to find the difference between the two. Thanks. Let's check out this run. <laughs>
right. We've run it a couple of times. We're running again, both at stock and under vaulted settings, this time to look for the average power draw. So I reset the log immediately upon start and capture the average power draw right at the end of the test. Uh, stock, it looks like we had 371.7 watts on average drawn. I then undervolted the card once again. This time I went to 850 millivolts, same as the first time, but I actually dropped the core uh, down to 1800 megahertz, which is technically the For the Win 3 Ultra's stock settings in theory. Of course, they always boost higher than that. And it also presents more of a worst case scenario in terms of FPS loss. So let's look at the numbers. We've got. Stock FPS 61.78 on the first run, under vaulted 57.67. We lost about uh, almost another frame per second on the second run, so still less than five frames per second lost. And uh, the max power draw dropped by about 131 watts, and the average power draw dropped by nearly 133 watts. That's a huge amount of power that we have saved, uh, which also translates to heat output. Um, the energy savings, you know, if you're conscious about that, uh, and man, just almost no loss of performance. I also use these settings in call of duty war zone and it's indiscernible in gameplay. So, uh, if you want to out undervolt your 3080, once you get one, you're not going to be losing much. Thanks for watching. This has been Lucktronics. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks.